Hi everyone! In this video, you will learn how to install the Citrix receiver on a Mac computer. First, open a browser and navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash citrix.northport.k12.ny.us. When you reach this page, you will see a green install button in the center of the screen. Clicking on the green install button will bring you to a new page. In this new page on the left hand side, you will need to select Citrix receiver and then you will need to select receiver for Mac. You will then click find. When you reach the new page, click receiver for Mac. And then the next page that loads in the bottom right hand corner, click download. It's going to bring you to the end user license agreement, which you want to click yes I accept for. And then it's going to say download now. So when you click download now, then it's going to download this file called citrixreceiverweb.dmg. When it's done, you click on that. It's then going to open the installer for the Citrix receiver. So you're going to double click install Citrix receiver. It's going to pop up with these steps and you're going to click through until it's installed. So continue, continue, agree, install. Then you just have to type in maybe your password for the computer. And it will tell you that the installation was successful. So once the installation is successful, you'll now notice up here on the top of the screen, the Citrix receiver is now installed. And so you're going to want to navigate back to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash citrix.northport.k12.ny.us. In the logon screen, you're going to put your username, which is your first name dot last name. And then your password, which is going to be the same password you used to sign into our network as well as our email system. When you click log on, you're now directed to the screen with the black screen and it's going to have a play button. If you click on this, it's going to start the application. And once it loads, it's going to look very similar to the desktop that you see when you sign on at work. So if you click on the start button and go to the computer, here's your H drive. So if you click on your H drive, you now have access to all the files and folders that you typically have access to, as well as any of the shared drives that you may have access to, you'll also be able to now access at home. Um, you also have all three browsers available to you, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, as well as Google Chrome, and Smart Notebook will also be available to you. So if you click in here, start, Smart Notebook will come up. Um, also some of the other smart tools are available as well as the snipping tool. So I could launch Smart Notebook. And this way at home I could create my lessons um, in Smart Notebook and then I could save them to my H drive and open them up in my classroom the very next day. To return to your Mac desktop, you would just have to click start and then log off and it will take us back to what we saw before. Now we're back here. If you have any questions at all, contact the ITRT in your building.